really pretty. It smells really gorgeous. I think I'm really going to enjoy this. And it is caffeine free, so I can maybe enjoy this this evening. It smells really gorgeous. It smells very, very specific. I 
can see one, two, three, maybe four different ones already. Um, I can see something like green tea and mint, vanilla nut, there's some kind of orangey one here. That's promising, maybe there will be something pumpkin-y. <laughs> okay, I'm excited though, I do like um, mint tea, especially like green tea. Oh, a tea sino. I think we've had them before. I quite like that. Um, let me just pop this to the side and have a little read of the card for this month. So, made for Jen. It's beginning to feel a lot like fall, Jen. October is here and it brings crisp mornings, beautiful leaves, and sweater sleeves. It does indeed. Wrap around a steaming cup of tea. Share a pick of your fall sips from your sip spy box with us to enter to win a free month. Use hashtag sip spy box and tag sip spy and the brands below in your caption. X O X O X O Gossip Girl Team Sip Spy go in to the first tea. The first tea is the first one that I noticed. Happy Lab. Okay, let me see. Marrakesh sips by Happy Lab. Okay, so the tea is called Marrakesh and the company is Contains green tea, mint, penny royal, jasmine flower, and sunflower. Okay, interesting. Contains caffeine, an aromatic and invigorating green tea blended with mint, jasmine, and a bright burst of sunflower. This healthful tea is ideal for drinking during the morning or in the afternoon. Okay, so let's have a little smell. With tea, smelling is only like And usually get a good idea. Strong. <laughs> the mint is strong with this one, but I'm not mad about that. But I do like a strong mint tea. So we have like a mesh bag. It smells gorgeous. Strong mint. This next one is a loose leaf, so we do have the um, reusable cloth tea bag and the disposable ones inside. To be honest, I use mostly the disposable ones. I haven't finished all the ones that I have, so I've not really needed to use the reusable ones, but I have tried them. So. So this is from Chez Lou, Maison du Thé. Tarte aux fraises, sips by Chez Lou. Okay, so a strawberry tart flavor. Just pop it down, it's a little crinkly. Beautiful. 
Bienvenue chez Lulu. Welcome to Lulu's. Oh, it's not the same on here as it is in here. Okay, I'm just gonna read the, the card first and then I might read this one. Bienvenue chez Lulu. A magical tea patisserie. This strawberry herbal tea has a hint of citrus sharpness making it a sweet and balanced treat, as refreshing as a walk along the Seine. It's like the river going through Paris. It's caffeine-free. Okay, we have apple bits, hibiscus, rosehip peels, sweet blackberry leaves, apple slices, peppermint, strawberry slices, citric acid, flavor, what flavor, I don't know, marigold petals and strawberry bits. So we have slices and bits in here, and apple slices and bits. What's that about? Okay, let me just cut a little corner and have a little smell, maybe a look. See some slices and bits. string anyway. I'm like, I must have pinched the 
the bag with the string in it and then shook like, can you see that? <laughs> there's the cut string and the top of the string's in there <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter I'm sure I can figure it out is going to win. It just smells so nice and cozy. Like the strawberry one smells like I would love it in the afternoon or in the morning, but this smells like I would love it at night. Like to keep like cravings at bay it could be really nice too. Try not to snack in the evening. Especially once um, your day's finished, kids are in bed, you go film for a few hours, then you go back down, you're like, okay, I could eat something, you know, or I could go to bed, and often, like, you know, you're tempted. Okay, let's have a little look at the last two. So here is our October tea. This is, this is like the autumn. Well, I guess the nut one was a little autumn, but this is orange. Like, even just the color just makes me think even though there's no pumpkin from what I can see there's no pumpkin anywhere <laughs> I'm still happy to see this cranberry blood orange so cranberry blood orange black tea by the Republic of Tea, the Republic of tea. so um, the round back there is no like string or anything I've had these before I think this is maybe the third Republic of Tea um, tea I've had. I like them all. Okay, so Fair Trade Certified Black Tea, Natural Cranberry Flavor, Orange Peels, Natural Blood Orange Flavor, and Cranberry Bits. High Caffeine. This tart sweet fruitful blend of cranberries, black tea, and orange peels is delicious, either hot or iced. I have to admit, I really didn't ice any teas this summer. The French summer was just not really happening <laughs> in uh, 2021. It was just a little drab. I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. Okay, enjoy this environmentary environmentally friendly round unbleached tea bag free of wasteful strings staples and tags I have to agree that the staples bug me um, the strings and the tags not so much but the staples really kind of get on my nerves a little a moment of thanks for the pot it gives up its emptiness for the tea is there a greater sacrifice of the Minister of Leaves? So cute. I like this. I like their brand. Leading purveyor of premium teas. Okay, I definitely don't want to cut the bag. Okay. 
really I mean I'm getting a little fruitiness but as with most black teas you do get the black tea like scent wise is always the strongest like maybe when it's brewed it's different but like if you just smell a tea bag like But I trust that it will be good because I'm really liking this brand actually like their whole um, aesthetic but also like the flavours themselves Okay, so we have one We have two Can you guess how many we're gonna have? We have We have four lovely teas. Cranberry blood orange. Oh, we can say it's like Halloween with the blood, blood orange. <laughs> okay, so let me just regroup everything together and um, have a little recap. So here's everything from this month's box. I think for the first time in a little while, I'm going to enjoy all four and I'm like already sure about it like sometimes I'm like I know I'm gonna like these three but this one I'm not sure about but all four of these I already know for sure I'm gonna like them like this one smells delicious and I know that I like this kind of tea same goes for this same goes for this and same goes for this like I'm actually loving I know I'm going to use all of these. It's great. Okay. So once again, thank you to SipSpy for sending me this. I do actually have to pay shipping. And actually, for last month's box, I had to pay nine extra euros for, like, border control. So I actually paid more than, like, any of you American people that just, like, have a subscription. I actually paid more <laughs> um, last month to get the box than you would have to. Um, I would definitely recommend SipSpy for anyone in America. Um, but shipping rates in general for, like, Europe and stuff, I don't know if it's really worth it, to be honest, for you guys. But if you're in America... happening around you. For example, if you are in the Ukraine, I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm. And I hope that you have a lovely 